Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Major Dad and I are continuing the Acoli. This is season one, episode seven, penultimate episode, and it is titled Choice. And hey, you're here again, next to me. Yeah. Thank you for having me, and of I, I enjoy doing it next to you rather than on on, on the web. So yeah. this is nice. It is. It is. It's nice we can do it uh, like two reactions in a row. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it with the last one. Probably not. Um, but this is going to be a very important episode. I feel like it's something that we've wanted ever since we saw the third episode where we went back in time and we saw sort of what happened on Brentock, but now. Hopefully we are going to get the rest of the, the story, the rest of like the information that we are sorely lacking so that we can get like a, a clear picture of exactly what went down on Brendock between the Jedi, the witches, with Osha, with May, who started the fire. What what the heck happened? Yeah. We've had so many questions. And, I'm, and I'm expecting a uh, flashback uh, story from Saul mm -hmm. at the same time... Uh, uh, Osha. Osha remembering. Yes, yeah, you put on the, the helmet. helmet. And, and yeah. I hope there'll be some action this time because someone told me and someone also noticed on the web and, and other places that, well, it, the balance between the episodes, the last one was a bit slow. You could have saved or come up with some combat scenes for it. So I'm mm. hoping for a little bit of action this time. And yeah. as you said, uh, let's get the story of why why we're there with Osha and May and, and, and so on. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it, and thank you so much for all the comments and finding out what that, uh, what Sonny calls sporks or snorks or something like that. It's <laughs> called a scura. Uh, thank you so much, and <laughs> yes. and also people uh, like me thinking about, oh well, what's Vanessa's part in all this, and yeah. the whiplash on the back of uh, Chimir. Is that from her, her lightsaber and, yeah. whip or so, false lightning or what? What? What could it be? Great to see that you're speculating just as me in, in yeah. all different directions and so on. So thank you so much for all the comments and all that. Yes, thank you guys so much. One thing that we also found out, learned after the episode, because it only said unknown planets, about like where Osha and Kamir, where they are. It looked like, look, it looked like Arc 2, and I think that was done a little bit on purpose. But it's not Arc 2, and now I've forgotten the name of the planet, but it is a planet that was mentioned in Legends, I believe, and it's a planet where you can, well, you can mine Cortosis. And we also saw inside of, like, the cave that they were in, there was, like, a Cortosis nice vein. Yeah. yeah, some Cortosis or, or, or yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever you call it. Um, and it is sort of, again, I think in Legends, like, linked to the Sith Lords at the time, Tenebr Tenebros, 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 again, I can't pronounce his freaking name, and Plagueis, yeah. whom we, we might get to see, but 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 still, now we're going to go back in time and see what happened on Brendark. Like, that's, that's like most in important. time, hopes are high, so let's yeah. see where it takes us this time. And yeah. Also, like, subscribe, uh, join on Patreon, take a look at the Merc Store, uh, you can join on YouTube as well, share uh, the knowledge about the channel, and yeah, thank you so much. That was uh, all, all the stuff. Links in the description, pinned comment as well. And now let's get into the pen ultimate pen pen. Wow, it's been doing really well. The pen ultimate episode of the first season of the Acolyte. Here we go. Yep. Sixteen years earlier, and I'm pretty interested in what's the real story. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too, very much. So. And then again, it's from different points of view you get the story yeah we, we we need a lot from like the jedi point of view yeah, yeah. just and walking then. around with metal detectors yeah like, probably mine, mine clearance I don't know. detecting something else <laughs> what are they looking for something that requires them to take samples of whatever everything <clears throat> I'm just sick of eating Nuna legs. And I want to go home to Coruscant. I know. But we're on a mission. We've been here for seven weeks. Damn. A hundred years ago, this planet was catalogued as lifeless because of a hyperspace disaster. Hmm. Well, if only I knew that what we were doing was somehow important or meaningful. We are looking for our power A concentration of force energy 
a virgins could create life like what we see on this planet. Hmm. Nothing could be more important to the Jedi. This is a noble mission. Boring, but noble. <laughs> Is it a midichlorian detector? No, sorry. It's even maybe. <laughs> I do not tell him answers to ease his mind. I teach him to seek the answers for himself. You disagree. Uh, That's why I have a Padawan and you do not. <laughs> nice. We haven't covered the Northlands yet. Meet us back at the camp. Okay. But yeah, right now we at least we have some more knowledge about why they're there, why they're there initially. Virgins. That was the word they used, right? Yeah. Vir virgins. virgins. Yep. Oh, and it's like, oh, the tree. Yeah. Winter tree so beautiful. Okay, and the, the, the scene that we saw. And now we're getting it from a different point of view. Yeah. Literally. We are not alone. Indara, can you read me? begins so it begins yeah we follow them all the way back oh and we're just gonna keep going Cl yeah. climb sure why not of course it's gonna scale up yeah your enemies will not warn you before they attack well so he just he saw all of that Oh yeah, yeah. We we even yeah, yeah we saw yeah, that as yeah. well. Like her reacting to something, walking in there, looking around. A force called here. I think they are witches. Night sisters. Ah, mentioned night sisters. They do not treat the girls like children. We should return to the ship. Ask the council for guidance. The witches prepare for a ceremony tonight. What if the girls are in danger? Come with me. See what I have seen. This must be an old mining site. Kilnaka, slice the controls. Mm. Maybe you should knock before slicing controls and... We're breaking in just to have a look. <laughs> we should go as a team. Fine. But we must be vigilant. Right. I get why the witches aren't as you know welcoming towards the Jedi, because okay. they just... Broken. Okay. I, yeah, they just broke in. I, I wouldn't be like, oh, welcome. You just walked into my freaking house. The all-knowing Jedi were ignorant of their surroundings. I find that hard to believe. Oh. You are a strong and good Jedi. You are a strong and good Jedi. But do you have natural desires you suppress? Do you wish to escape this planet? Do you wish to escape this planet? Do you wish to escape? So we even get to see what happened in his mind yeah very invasive this i want to return to coruscant neil if you want your part of return to his right mind i suggest you all leave now the scouts will bring osha to your camp at midday we appreciate your cooperation Okay, pretty much still the same scene yeah. as before, except for what from Torben point, saw, yeah. Yeah. which was, again, quite invasive, aggressive, <laughs> from Mother Anasaya. Testing the twins is not something we can take seriously. Oh, she's too old to join the order. I feel she's meant to be my part one. Damn, Sol. They mocked her sister with dark magic. Ceremonial markings are customary in many cultures in the galaxy. But Osha did not have one. Because you interrupted. Exactly. <laughs> she may have resisted being marked. There's no way to know. Then who is protecting this child if not the Jedi? It's not your responsibility, man. I believe she wants to live with us. Do not confuse what Osha wants with what exactly. you want. Mm. It seems a bit more like what he wants. Yeah. Even though Osha said, I want to become a Jedi and so on. But 
just need to take a sample of your blood. Is that okay? Through the clothes? Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. That might be a good reason why not do that in the hospital, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Mm. Ascension means Osha and I will lead the coven. That's why I have a marking like Mama. But your children, how can you become the leaders? Mama said everyone must walk through fear. Everyone must be sacrificed to fulfill their destiny. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I get why they're like, Thank you huh. for explaining that to me. Fear? Sacrifice? Mm. I was instructed to fail. And yeah, that was clear. With your permission, I would like to try a different approach with the other child. I want to be a Jedi. Then you must have the courage to tell the truth. We should continue the test. A planet. Correct. What did she sense? Oh, that it was correct. She's actually doing it now. Osha passed. I will meet you at the camp when I hear their answer. All right, Sol, don't take matters into your own hands now. Although they don't want to be surveying the planet now. <clears throat> or at least Sol wants oh, to. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. very much. He's very much focused yeah. on this whole situation. The council said no. They will not sanction bringing the twins to Coruscant or separating them from their coven. But there's something dangerous about those women. They say that we have interfered too much already. Will they let us come home at least? No. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Do not alter this little girl's destiny because you have formed an emotional attachment to her. That is not what's happening here. Are you sure? It's the twins' blood test results. The M count is very high. M count. There we go. Wait. Their symbionts are the same. They are twins. No, no, exactly the same. Even identical twins would have different symbionts. Oh. One consciousness into two bodies? Only a virgin mm. could create that type of power. Hogan! Stop! Don't you see? We just need proof of a virgin, and those girls are the proof. This is our ticket home! Oh, okay, he just really wants to go home. So oh, like, yeah. Let's move on this. Oh, shit, okay. I must discuss the situation with everyone here. But we will consider your wish when we do so. I don't want to go! You want to stop Osha from leaving? Then stop her. Oh. The Jedi will not warn you before they attack. That's some tough love. Good girl. Get mad. Don't get mad. No! <laughs> Tap into the dark side. Her wish must be considered. You may be their mother, but you are also our leader. Right now, I choose mother. Okay. What was that? The elevator? Gotcha. I think they've locked the girls inside. The elevator's been disabled. We're stuck here now. Follow me. Time to scale the thing again. I need you to help me get the girls. Okay. Okay? Yep. All right. Sol and Torben are going to be working together to try and get their hands on the girls. There's no way that we can land the ship there. If I can get close enough, do you think you can make the jump? <laughs> Go. We must stop him before he starts a conflict. Go! Oh, that's going to be a conflict, all right. Starting a fire. Mm. And now realizing what you did was probably not a good idea. Think so? We come with noble intentions. You wish to know if we will allow Osha to join you? The twins. Where did they come from? How were they created? Someday, those noble intentions you all have will destroy every Jedi in the galaxy. Oof. Help! Osha! That's me. No, 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 no! Oh, okay, shit. 
Whoa, what in the... What? <gasps> what, what, what was she about to do? I don't know. I was going to let Bosha go. That's what she wants. She chose you. Oh, so... Fucking oops. He was quite quick to sort of just kill her. Yeah. Like what she was doing, it, it, it did look ominous. sort of ominous, but it's maybe not the right um, reaction. Whoop. Now she's doing whatever they're doing. Yeah. That was what it, huh? My mind is fortified. Not you. Uh oh. Shit. Okay. Taking over Kalnaka. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's how he got the scars. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> cool shot. <laughs> yeah, you're not stronger than a Wookiee, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. There she is. Ooh. Damn. Oh, that's why they were lying so nicely bunched up. Yeah, yeah. Let's make our choice. Yeah. Damn, Saul. Yeah, that'll be a tour, but yeah. Ow. I'm sorry. Kelnaka. Send a message to Coruscant. We're going home. Yay. I warned you not to interfere. I warned both of you. I had to make a choice. Master! What will we tell the council? He was slightly on the dark side there, I think. I must face the council. Oh, why would you do that to her? After everything this little girl has lost tonight, you take away her dream as well. Ask yourself why you made this choice. Mama! Mama! Now the choice has been made. Might as well commit, I guess. What happened? Yeah, stick with the story. Mm. They started a fire. Okay. Well, we Did definitely get. got some more information. Yeah. I still have questions, yep. but uh, now we, we we know at least like way more of what. Like the Jedi, their role in all of this, yeah. what it was, and and Soul in in particular, or I would say like Soul and and Torben, yeah, 
because Tobin just really, really he wanted to go rush out there to go to Coruscant. Just yeah. get this over with and back to Coruscant. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting how when they first appeared in front of the witches, how Inesea she took advantage of that uh, fear, like the anxiety inside of Tolpen and him yeah. and him wanting to go back home because that then fueled him even further to make the decision that he made later on where he was just like rushing towards their fortress. Yeah. So inadvertently, like she, she definitely didn't do it to herself and the, them like the witches any favors by no, invading his mind like that. It's probably easier to, to invade because he, he had some kind of, need that he yeah he could exploit so he, he, he wanted to go home and and he was vulnerable that way so yeah he would probably pick up because he was the easiest one to in influence sure but again yeah. it's just why do that like i get the reaction i get like wanting to do something about these people who have infiltrated your home completely uninvited and asking a bunch of questions about your children and like your culture but doing it a way where it seems like they like they have the right to do so and like they already like the witches seemed fairly skeptic when, yeah. uh, when it comes to the Jedi so I I get that they're like the reaction like reacting but it's, it still just seemed very invasive and very aggressive to just enter his mind like that and um, push him in a certain direction that then yeah it was more or less a series of uh, misinterpretations and wrong decisions uh, without thinking oh, about yeah, the consequences. Yeah, yeah. So it was a whole line of stupid decisions. From uh, multiple yeah. characters. Yeah, from all of them together. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and, and then we have sort of like Indara there in the middle where a lot of the time what she was saying, like I was on her side with most of it. Uh, yeah. And, and she's very much like trying to, okay, how can we navigate the situation in, in the best way possible? And we should also listen to, to, to the council to begin with. But then like events unfolded that just kept forcing her hand or yeah. forcing them to do a 180 and, and, and then in, in the end, cover it all up. Yeah. Because, okay, now you made a choice. Yeah. The, Think like even, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. She, she spoke to the council and the council said no. Mm. So that was called a kind of well, it's not gonna happen. And then the events just went that way. And in the end, when uh, Indira said that, well, let's just go with this story, but that was more or less to protect Osha from the real story, so she would get her at least get her dream out of it. So, a kind of a noble angle to it, but probably yeah, but like yeah, yeah. still spinning even more out of control. So because yeah. covering it up is then there's still gonna be consequences yeah. from that. So even though she seemingly was trying to make the, the right decisions throughout, in the end, she made a decision that, again, noble, but had consequences. Yeah. And, and, and that you could say for like, pretty much all of the characters here, like yeah. they sort of like noble intentions or wanting to uh, protect someone, protect their family, whatever it might be but yeah just having consequences that are yeah yeah um, and Saul being so quick to uh strike down the mother oh, yeah that was kind of surprising and it's, it's when she said that well i was going to release oh shit to you i was gonna like that was yeah. her her wish so, i was yeah. gonna honor her wish even though as we saw like if everyone else was arguing against it she was still no i'm gonna be I'm not going to think as your leader. I'm going to think as a mother. That is what my child wants. Yeah. Uh, so that was a, a, a sad way to, to see her go like that. Yeah. Um, and, and, and then what I still have questions about is... Yeah, it's still the coven. It's still yeah. the witches. Because we didn't exactly learn how the twins were created. We got a little bit more information based on their blood samples about like, they're not only identical twins, they're just straight up identical yeah. um, in, in every way. 
genetically so, at least. Yeah, some kind of virgins in the force that can create life, as I said in the beginning. So yes, yeah. That somehow was... they must have been created by the force there, but I, I don't know. Or them manipulating yeah. that yeah. there is a virgins and then creating yeah. life out of that, because yeah. that that is like what they said at the beginning of the episode was that this whole planet, re- re- planet region yeah. uninhabited. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, this planet Brendock is just there's life everywhere. Yeah. Where did that come from, and how did it happen so fast? It must be because of a virgins. We're yeah. looking for it, and then and they said kind of lifeless. So something that could create life was also mentioned. Uh, the planet was lifeless. Mm. I feel That's I feel moment. like we're still like those those answers, those very important answers. We are hopefully then going to get in the last episode, yeah. and I feel like for there to be like a narrative threat there it it has to it has to connect to the sith yeah. i feel like yeah um, somehow oh, yeah. somehow like there could be another explanation it's not like I'm, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed if it doesn't connect to the sith in the end um, but just again connecting it to Vanestra, Chimia, the Chimia, sister, yeah, uh, uh, Brand Dr. So, Witch. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of balls hanging there at the moment. Very, uh, very much. So to speak. And, and yeah. yeah, I'm not sure they can land all of it in, in one episode more. I'm I'm really looking forward to the next episode, Steve, yeah. where it goes. Now it's nice to have that look back at what really happened, mm. more or less. But as you said, there's still a lot of still questions. Still questions. Like we, we still don't know where... The other mother, Coral, yeah. Coral, yeah, where she went, like the, the yeah. very aggressive Sabrak, yeah, because she did the disappear into black smoke mist thing yeah. that Anasaya was about to do yeah. with herself and May. So what what was that? Is that just like part of how they use the force, and was it to disappear or? Is it part of like the whole invasive thing with going into your mind? Because like after Coral did that, that's when Kalnaka got taken over. But was that with like was that like a joint effort like between like what Coral did and then all like the other witches Witch just Coral, sitting yeah. there? And how does it work with like what Indara did? Because she was helping yeah. Kelnaka snap but, out of it but, but kill all the others all the yeah, yeah yes so did she do that on purpose or was it just like a consequence of like her trying to sever that connection yeah. connection so yeah, yeah still still questions a there. lot of questions and basically it's just uh consequences from wrong decisions and mm. keeping a lie alive and, and so on so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and wonder where it goes next time personally i never lie because i'm i don't have any kind of memory at all so i, I have to stick to the truth i'm <laughs> not giving you all the truth all the time but i have to stick to kind of the truth otherwise i can't remember mm-hmm. so I, I wouldn't be able to like keep a lie like Lie like that. Lie like that. Wow, that was difficult. <laughs> lie, lie like, like that. <laughs> yeah, la la la. <laughs> a lie like that uh, in the air for several uh, several years. So no, so, for about and, sixteen years. Yeah, and how much does Vanessa know about it? And how does this fit in with Chimier and, and all? Uh, yeah, on the dark side. So exactly. So. That's why I think like there has to be some some sort of thing that is like some yeah. way that it's all connected and 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 that you know. Narrative threat, as as I talked about, yeah. I guess pun intended, with what they call the false threat. Yeah, but it well, interesting to see it from. This was definitely more from the Jedi point of view. Yeah, we still actually got a lot of scenes that we all we had already seen, but we got them either like from different perspectives or just like a snippet of them to tell us, okay, where are we in the story? Then it was, yeah, it's. I'm sure some people are not gonna be happy about the Jedi making the decisions that they made here or you know the mistakes that they made but I I like that the Jedi are quite fallible uh, yeah. fallible that they aren't perfect and they can certainly make mistakes and they can misinterpret situations um it is again like Everything that they sort of did, everything that all of the characters, like all of the decisions they, they, they made here, it was 
based in in something like I want to do the 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 right thing. I want to yeah. do the the noble deed here. Maybe with the exception of Torben, who just, <laughs> just wanted to yeah. go home. To yeah, Coruscant. and then again, I don't know the, the 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 approach from Saul because he was like he was convinced that the girls were in some kind of danger. Even yeah, yeah. He didn't have the uh, all he the was information. So he was so convinced. Yeah. So like when he saw Anasaya do what she did, which yeah. again, I mean, like it it did not look good. Like yep. turning into black smoke mist I would like that. Probably react a bit on uh, people, people doing that. Uh, yeah, if someone did that in front of me. Yeah. I would, I would maybe also have a a, a reaction. Yeah. I don't know if I would go straight to stabbing um, <laughs> with yeah. with a lightsaber, but that's what he ended up doing. So I really get why all of the Jedi who were present here, yeah. all four of them, like the guilt has sort of been eating them up through the years because. They made some horrible mistakes. Uh, some of them, like yeah, worse mistakes than than others, and and just yeah, hiding that, living yeah. with it, and then it sort of comes back to haunt them later on. Torben, most most of all, he was very affected by all of this, and in the end, and and welcomed death. Yeah, in Dara, um, I don't know if she was. Strictly speaking, welcoming death or or, or anything, no, but, that, but, that, but she was kind of fighting for so, but she was surprised and it, it seemed kind of well. That's I it, yeah, yeah I've, I I knew this was coming yeah. when when she realized it was May that she was fighting. I yeah. I, I guess um, it's been clear with Saul that something has been eating at him as well, even though he's maybe been trying to push it down, bury it deep down, and hide it behind. No, I did the right thing. Um, and then Kelnaka, who just fucked off to another planet. He decided <laughs> to live alone. Yeah. To, to, to live alone. Um, and I'm thinking because he was taken over in the way that he was by the witches, that sort of, like, it affected him in a way. Where a, it was left still, an imprint in his mind or yes, something like that. Yes, because he was, yeah. like, drawing those circle yeah. thingies yeah. In, inside of, like, in, in, in his home. As, as we saw, so that's, yeah, yeah, most likely why. But we did get to see him in action, and we did we get did. to see yeah. some some fighting between them. Um, yeah, much better balanced episode with some fighting and some talking and, and, and so on. And so yeah. I, I kind of like the, the dark mood of it all and the uh, mm. music and the, the whole layout and all. That. It, it works quite nice for me yeah. with them on, on, on that planet and uh, and so on, so... From yeah. that point of view, uh, better episode t- uh, pace-wise for me. And uh, Fair yeah. again, it ended up with even more questions than when I went in. But that's, well, that's basically my day. <laughs> so, yeah, I, th- I think, like, because I've heard people say that they think that the story would have been better paced if it was maybe trimmed down and put into like a, a movie or a, like fewer episodes, putting some episodes together and then releasing maybe like two at a time or cause like some of the in endings to these like episodes, it, it feels a little bit like, Oh, okay. I don't know if it was supposed to end right there. I, I yeah. feel like we still need some more, but then I also like doing the week, two week thing where you yeah. watch an episode and then you think about it and discuss it and theorize until yeah. the next one. Uh, so like there are certainly strengths you get to and, discuss and, and, it and, from and, week and, to week and, and weaknesses. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but I think like this series maybe could have benefited from putting some of the episodes to, together, like releasing them more bundled up or yeah, again, something I, maybe I, or I, moving some things around. I'm not very good at making movies. Uh, I haven't made any yet, and <laughs> I'm probably not very good at cutting them either. But it's like it. I would like to be a bit more balanced in uh, different kind of episodes. It's okay that we have uh, the number of episodes and uh, once a week. But I talked with someone at work about the last episode, and he just came up to me straight and said, "What that was that." It was so boring. It's more fun to watch paint dry. So he was like, really, he needed something extra in there and uh, some kind of uh, action in there as well. And I kind of kind of agree with him on, on that. This it time is. it was nicely paced with all of it, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, and it is it is difficult because people want different things yeah. out of it. Like there are, I, I see some people being like, all they want out of Star Wars now is something akin to Andor, where it's like it's it's very much yes a slow burn, but it's it's focused on the characters and the writing, and it's more grounded, yada yada. Um, and then there are also people who yeah. definitely do not want that because they thought Andor was. To, to quote uh, your yeah. co-worker, boring. Yeah. So they want more action and faster paced, uh, more lightsabers, more all, all, all of that stuff. So it's finding yeah. a perfect blend of, of yeah. all of it. Ba- that, basically, that can certainly be we're all different. different. Isn't that yeah. great? I mean, we, we kind of want different it, kind it, of things. It that is, makes it, it uh, a whole lot of fun. And yeah. despite being a slow episode the last time, I don't want to leave it out because a lot of things that happened last time was something that we had to talk about uh, yeah, or yeah. spend time talking about with the yeah. Nesma and so on. So I want it all. We all want it all, but we can't have all. Where would you put it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I think some people have a tendency to, like they want everything inside of, for example, a Star Wars series to be to their liking, every aspect of it. Whereas a I think it's it's more realistic that you're probably gonna end up liking some of it, and then some of it is is not gonna, you know, yeah. Gonna, yeah, it's 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 not gonna be as much uh, to to your liking. Uh, but then someone else is really gonna like that certain element of the series, and yeah, yeah, to cover all the base, like it's 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 difficult. Um, and then sure, there are people who just hate all of it, and yeah. then people who love so, all of it, uh, no matter taste what, and so. feelings, yeah. It, yeah, but I I enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed getting the the, the, the flashback on what really happened. And yeah, same. combined with all the other stuff, I still think it's uh, nice to get some Star Wars and to get a Star Wars story. And it can easily fall in line with what I have in my mind around Star Wars and the Star Wars universe and yeah. different kind of stories from be it legends or canon or whatever. I read a lot of the old legends books, and mm. that was great for me as well. I mean, yeah. I like when they, brings me a while, a long way. Yeah, a long, long way. way yeah. yeah, yeah. I like, and I and I like when they take inspiration from some of that. I, I am one of the people who do like when they take some big uh, chances or, or or big leaps in inside of the the galaxy, the yeah. universe, and also when it comes to the force and like example from like the Clone Wars and Rebels, like everything that had to do with the Mortis Guards or the World Between Worlds. I really like that, even though it's like, whoa, that's some 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 weird stuff, big yeah. big stuff, and it yeah. can get a little bit weird and get a little bit out there. And in this one, it's it's the stuff with the witches, the coven of witches, yeah. where it's like, whoa, that that that's a thing as well. I have questions, um, but as long as there's gonna be some sort of explanation there, and it is still like gonna kind of fit in with with what we also yeah. know then. I, I don't I don't mind it uh, at all. I, and uh, it yeah. brings us together once a week to sit and discuss yeah, yeah. the exactly. uh, movie on screen, and then afterwards, on the phone and so on, we'll still be discussing what to expect for the next one. So yes, do like, subscribe, share the video, uh, join on Patreon, uh, leave a comment, and uh, if I, you notice something we didn't notice or have any speculation and so on. It's it's fun to read the, what you think and mm. where you think it's going to go from here. So thank you so much for watching. And yeah, one left. One more to go. I think I read somewhere that, that the title of that one, the last episode is Doom, but maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll see when we get there in a week's time-ish. Is there anything else you want to say before we... No, I nope. got it all. all right. Got it all. You mentioned all the things. Probably the, not, but all I can the links and I'm, I'm yeah. getting blank. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Thanks again, guys. May the force be with you. Always.